please take a moment to increase the brightness on your device for optimal viewing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sketchy Friendler, where every day I tell you a story and I draw you a picture to go along with it. Today I'm going to tell you or talk to you about stepping out of your comfort zone, or in my case, my comfort zone. All right, so before we get started, just uh, remember that I always start out with this blue pencil, so please bear with me. And um, if you can't see, just crank your brightness up all the way. And if you're watching on a phone, just turn your phone horizontal so that the image will fill up your screen and thus become larger. All right, let's get to it. So um, today, instead of talking to you about like a memory, um, I want to talk to you about just things that I've, some of them I've been thinking about, and it's stepping out of my comfort zone. And it's always been an issue for me. I, I think it's probably a, it's an issue with a lot of people. Um, and I think one thing that I, that stops me from stepping out of my comfort zone is that it just seems scary to do something or try something that I haven't or put myself out there in a way that I haven't before. Um, my head just goes on all sorts of tangents about what ifs and, you know, that's something that uh, I think my daughter and <clears throat> my wife have definitely kind of mastered and something I definitely admire about the both of them because they have the saying, it's delete the what ifs, you know, just don't worry about what could happen. Just get out there and do it. Because I'll tell you, when um, the times that I have stepped out of my comfort zone, I've, I've, I've been rewarded and I've had success, especially the more scary and daunting that it seemed. It didn't necessarily happen right away or overnight or get those results immediately, but just getting on that path, you know, it does look like a big giant mountain looming before you. <clears throat> but it, when I've noticed that I just take it bit by bit and more reasonable um, bite-sized portions, digestible daily goals, as opposed to this whole massive obstacle in the way. I have noticed that um, it's not uh, not as bad as I thought it was. Um. But that's, you know, it's easier said than done, you know, like it's always that first step that really is the hardest. Then once you do it, you're doing it. So you don't really necessarily have time to stop and think, especially if it's something that requires effort. It's not something you're just going to breeze through. Then it's definitely... Um, something that um you know you just you're able to to kind of focus in on and then you know maybe a little bit later you can kind of start looking back and you see the progress that you've made and that sort of fuels you to keep going forward because i can tell you like right now like i was very scared and just felt overwhelmed about starting this up and I still you know I still have doubts and I just keep going you know I, I think about the rewards that have come since I've started and the rewards that could come if I keep continuing, if I don't give up and I just keep trying. Um, 
and I feel like every day I, I do this or I keep trying and, and getting out there. And some days I'm, I feel like, oh, man, this is, am I, is this really worth it? Am I really making a difference? You can't, you can't, you can't think like that because it's just, it's counterproductive. And, and I haven't been going long enough to really assess, you know, whether it's worth it or not. But I can tell you that it is worth it in terms of me pushing past something that, that I was resistant to do. And it fuels me and to do some other things that I've wanted to do that I've kind of been resistant towards because I was intimidated or scared. Um, and that um, is huge because when you start doing things that you think you couldn't do or you're intimidated about getting started, you you have examples. You have current examples of things that you thought you couldn't do or wouldn't be very good at or wouldn't be very successful at that you're now seeing the results of. And that's where I'm at with this. So like I've never, I've always been interested in doing comic books, but I've always been scared of what people might think. They might not like it or might not be good enough. But then I look at me doing the sketchy friendler here and people enjoying what I do. People that show up every day, people who compliment me for the, the stuff that I'm doing here that, you know, if some, somebody likes it, there's always going to be somebody who likes it. I mean, I'm doing it also for my own, building my own confidence, but, you know, it really does help when, when other people respond to, to what I'm doing. Um, and that's, that's, I can't tell you how, how huge that is and how it encourages me. So it does start, has to start with yourself, but then as you continue on, then you're going to start perhaps seeing feedback from, from what other people think. And um, that's, um, that's huge. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about that, because maybe there's some stuff that you might be putting off or avoiding because it requires you to step out of your comfort zone. And I don't, I don't want you to waste any time because I'll tell you, like I'm 48 years old. I could have been doing this stuff for the past 20 years, but I was always concerned about what somebody else thought. Don't get me wrong. I do. I do appreciate what other people think, but you know, I would never have started if it wasn't for myself pushing myself to do do something. And I have to. I have to definitely give credit to my wife because she encouraged me. She kept saying, "You know, you have this talent. What are you doing with it? Nothing. Do something with it." Um, and you know, I finally, I just, I said, fine, you know, I'll give it a shot and see what happens. And even then it took me a few days to really like do it. Like we created 
the sketchy friendler pages but you know i didn't do anything for a first probably a week or so because i was avoiding it because it was daunting to me and um you know it's like this this is kind of the <laughs> trying that i'm making it's kind of symbolic of you know here's this Here's you, here's this hero. You're the hero of your own story. And you gotta go up against this this monster, which is fear and, and doubt. But if you push through it and you fight, then behind that monster, is a bunch of treasure. Let's see now here. Oops, wrong way. Sorry, guys. You know, here's the prize. It's a mountain of gold, gems riches and that's not just a literal like it's not monetary it's like it's like just joy and fulfillment and satisfaction and accomplishment i'm serious like i'm 48 i'm so glad that i i did this now i could have gotten to the end of the road and then just said man you know i, I had this talent i never did anything with it Right, I stopped way too early in my 20s. That's when you're supposed to be getting started. You know, but you can't look back. That's what I'm saying. It's never too late. Don't have to worry about looking back if you get started now. I don't care how old you are. Do it. Get out there. It doesn't have to be drawing. It could be some project you've wanted to work on. Or maybe you wanted to volunteer at the animal shelter or maybe you want to go somewhere on a trip or you've been meaning to get out to see some family but you just keep putting it off just you know this is this is it this is your time here on earth don't waste it push yourself out of your comfort zone. Fight that dragon. Be the hero. I believe in you. You believe in you. That's what counts. Doesn't matter if I believe in you or not. I do believe in you because I know that if I can do it, you can do it. I think um, it's um, it's a lot easier once you get started. Like, as someone who's in the process and progress of of doing right now, not looking back, I'm in it. It's it's way easier once you start because the momentum it's going to carry you. You know, I, 
and you know it doesn't matter don't worry about like how good it is or just do it because i mean like i look at when i was younger i, I was really critical of like other people but now i look at it like here was somebody like like say like I saw a comic book that somebody else had drawn and I didn't like the art or I thought the writing was dumb or whatever, but they're out there and they're doing it. So now when I look at it, it doesn't matter. Like if I think that it doesn't appeal to me personally, I look at them as like, man, that took guts. They did it. They got out there. They did it. And that is what, that's what I respect doesn't matter like what the what the topic is or if I think it's cool or not I think it's cool that they did it because you know up until now I never did it you know I mean I did it when I was younger a little bit but even still I never got out there and drew in front of other people because I was embarrassed or just self-conscious about it I thought people were gonna like it I'm not saying I'm a great artist. I'm just saying, like, at least, hey, I'm not at least at most. I'm out there and I'm I'm doing it. And I think, I think for other people, it doesn't have to be drawing. It could be, you know, like I say, it could be just stuff you've been putting off or things, projects or a hobby. You've, well, you know, maybe you wanted to like take up dancing, or maybe you wanted to. You and your buddies have all been talking about, you know, taking walks together every afternoon, and you just keep not doing it. Or you get out there, you do it a couple of times, oh, I'm sore, and then you stop doing it. Get out there, keep going. Got to do it. You will thank yourself. You'll be happy. That's my advice anyway. I mean... I think um, it is easy to say it now that I'm doing it, but you can do it. You don't need my permission. You know you can do it. You know you've just been putting it off. Just, just, just get out there. Do it yourself so you have something you can look back on and say that you know what you I did that I rose to the occasion I did what I wanted to do and didn't let anything or anyone tell me that I couldn't that is my that's my advice for the day just get out there get out there it's not too late you can always do something that you have been saying you can't do. You know, maybe you're not able to do as much as you can, but there's still something that you can still do that you're putting off and there's still time. Do it. All right. Okay. Getting down off my soapbox. Um, just so you know, I do draw every day, Monday through Friday, Saturday, we put up a poll and you get to choose which drawing of the week that you want me to finish up on Sunday, well, I will go live and I will finish up I'll ink and color in the drawing of your choice that you voted on. And then we start all over again on Monday. Um, if you're interested in getting into merchandise, we've got uh, sketchy friendly merchandise up on the amcprincessanna.com website. Under the shop, there's a sketchy friendler uh, collection. There's some limited edition 10,000 follower uh, artwork, digital print. There's a coupon up th through the 24th if you watch the time lapse video of me coloring in that drawing. 
Uh, the coupons there till the 24th for the digital print. Again, that's a digital print, not a, an actual print. So you have to print it out on whatever you want to print it out on. Um, and then there's a limited edition t-shirt in adult and youth sizes. There's also a tumbler. And those tumblers are really nice. Like we just ordered some. Oh, they're so cool. They're good quality. I thought they'd just be kind of like cheap little plastic. Now they're good. Um, we also have just the regular um, sketchy friendler tumbler and t-shirt as well there. And then again, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So you can check me out on all four platforms. Um, other than that, I think this is, this is about done for the day. Do it. Like I said, get out there. Be the hero of your life. Conquer your fears. Get out of your comfort zone. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.